Hello, everybody, and welcome to part two of the fabulous box opening video brought to you by ToyCarCollector.com. That's me, Dave Williamson, where I buy Hot Wheels Matchbox. Old stuff, please, only old stuff. And I sell them, too. Got to sell them. Can't keep them all. Today's part two video is going to be about these blister packs, and I'm not going to probably open up all of them here i'm going to get them out and then show them to you here because you know what these are really well packaged and it's hard to figure out you know where it starts where does it start it needs to have a little start here button pin or something on it i can't tell where it thing starts maybe back here so i'm sure you don't want to watch me try to find my way around this it's kind of like a Kind of like a corn maze, for crying out loud. I don't know where the beginning of this thing is. I might have to just cut it. Wow, this is crazy. Anyway, it looks like that blister pack might want to just slip out of there. Wait a minute. What is this? What is this? Can I find it? I'm only going to do this once for you on, on the TV channel here. I don't know, oh boy. I don't know. This is crazy. Let's try. I think we'll just go with the knife, huh? All right. Knife across the back. Oh, there you go, knife across the back. Take this out. Let's see what we've got. Let's see if we got, we're only gonna do this once on the opening, then I'll just get the rest of them out and show them to you. I hope they're as good as I thought they were. Oops, hmm, still not out. It's still in there. Hmm, I don't know how this is supposed to work. I hate to mess up the blister packs, although you know me, I might open the blister pack anyway, so. I hate to do that. Okay, this one's coming out. Now I think we've got her. And they put a nice little cover around it with some tape and some pad just to keep that car from cutting its way out of there. And look at this. Now this is not a 68 blister pack. This is a 70 blister pack with the Hot Wheels Club's uh, mail away on there. And that caused a lot of these blister packs to get messed up because you had to take this off, send in a dollar to get your Boss Haas Silver Special and your Hot Wheels Annual Membership Kit. Very cool. Let's see. What have we got here? Now, a friend of mine, he likes to just feel the blisters for cracks. I feel this one right away, the little crack there. Nothing on the bottom. Let's take a look at the bottom of the car. Nice and shiny. Look at that gold. I was characterize this as a honey gold. A little bit of toning, a couple spots on that side, but the motor is nice and bright. That's why I bid on this one, because I do like anything with a really bright motor. So it looks really good. The blister pack is pretty hardy on all ends. Let's take a look at the button, Hong Kong, yep, Mattel Toy Makers, good. Large hole there, and it is punched out. But a beautiful car, hard to get a beautiful gold hot heap if you don't take one out of a blister. Now there's a toning spot on the back there and on that side there. And uh, this side is nice and clear, so for blister pack displaying, this is beautiful. If you're going to go like me, I display on the driver's side, you would see those spots. So it's, it's better for this one to just stay right in that package. A beautiful gold USA hot heap. We'll put her over there and get started on the next one. All right, the next one up is an Aqua Eldorado. Now, Eldorados have been hard to get your hands on lately and very expensive. This one, let's take a close look at it. Let's see, I don't have enough light to really examine it properly, but it looks good. Now, the bottom does look like it's been re-glued. Whoops. The bottom of the blister may just be loose, but it almost has the hints of being a little bit glued in there. You can always tell when a blister pack has been re-glued because it's impossible when you pull the bubble off and you pull it from the cardboard the cardboard keeps some of the red and the bubble keeps some of the red and it's impossible to line them back up again and if you look real close here can you see that those are not lined up that's a dead giveaway that that bubble has been a re re-glued now that does not necessarily mean the car has been out because this one does look like a mint car i don't see any darkening on the bottom but i will get my bright light to take a closer look hang on all right, whenever I'm looking at a Hot Wheels collection or I'm at the convention, I always use one of these guys right here. This I got from Costco. This is a Coast brand headlight. Pretty darn cool, very bright. If I can find it on Amazon, the link will be below in the description. Take a look there. This works really good. It's super, super bright. And you can focus it down 
like that, like a laser beam. I'm gonna put this up here and take a close look. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the car looks good. On a Hong Kong car in particular, if it was had been out of the package, you would notice that the date base would be tarnished. They just do not hold up. This is a beautiful aqua Hong Kong Eldorado, so I'm happy with that. But also, like I say, the uh, that bottom right down there does not look good. But maybe somebody, you know, it looks like they might have just done a little patch up on that. And you can see, see that residue? Let's see. See if we can focus in on that. There's a little white residue right there, which would definitely lead me to believe somebody maybe had a little. Let me turn this light off. It's not really helping. Okay, right there. That looks like glue residue, for instance. Yeah. And then the package probably split here. But I'll probably be taking that one out of the package anyway. Another couple of devices I like to use. This little magnifier right here got a light on there this is great for carrying around when you're looking at a hot wheels collection and if you really have to get close on a loose car these guys are really good and what is this this is a jeweler's loop this is for when you really want to get ridiculous and you want to try to figure out if your loose car you bought is a repaint or not comes in very handy all right let's move on to the next one i think i got another eldorado here that's right another eldorado where did she go I swear, there was no Eldorado. Oh, she fell over. Here we go. Here it is. All right, here's the next Eldorado, and boy, is she a beauty. Oh, my goodness. That red paint is phenomenal. That is amazing. Oh, my goodness. It looks like mirror chrome, and that is what these cars looked like originally when they were new, which would make sense. <laughs> Excuse me. Ah, I had my dry throat there from uh, talking for 20 minutes. Anyway, uh, this one, the card has turned brown a little bit in there. I know people that do deal with books have a word for that. Paper does turn brown like that, and there's a special word to call that. Anyway, the uh, red on this looks fantastic. Wow, we I have one particular collection of uh, Hong Kong cars that are my main collection. Oh, might be a rub on that fender over there, though. Hmm, let's take a look with the magnifier right there. Let me take a look. All right, I got a chance to really take a close look at this with the magnifier, and I found a couple of issues with it. Number one, there's a big rub on the fender there that goes through the uh, paint, so I won't be taking this one out of the blister pack to put into my loose collection because that would show up real bad. But it looks fine in the blister pack. The other issue is that they had some issue with the um, uh, getting this getting this side of the body to match up this side this little end is a little bent sticks down a little bit there but the car is so beautiful and it's an unpunched card and it's an original 68 so you can't complain too much it is a beauty all right the next one up is this one and it is also an original 68 card now, whenever you're selling an original 68 card, they do bring a lot more money than the non-68 cards. This particular one is very, very early. It has, let's see, it has the small hole. That's very early. Uh, it has the smooth sides. That's very early for a 68. And uh, that is pretty darn cool. That is an aqua, and it's mint, beautiful condition in there. Perfect, with a white card underneath it. It's funny, they had a fold line i believe they had a fold line i guess this one did not have a fold line that is just the way that card fits in there it's kind of an odd shape i think i don't recall too many cards under them having straight here and then angled there hmm i'm gonna have to check into that most of the cards look like this yeah they have a little tab that goes into the bubble side and uh, that's what I'm used to uh, seeing. And then some other ones that don't have the tab, but just still have that beveled angle. But this one is straight out and then uh, cut in. That's interesting. This is definitely a very early card. I don't know what it says underneath this MMG at 99 cents, but it might say, I don't think it's a Hong Kong, or I mean a, a British card, English card. No, I think it's a US card, but man, this is an early, early one. One thing about me, I love 36 Ford Coupes, and what I look for in 36 Ford Coupes is a very bright, shiny base. This one is okay. It's got a little blue ink to it, but I really need a nice, shiny front and a nice, bright paint job, and this is a nice, light... Uh, it's not light green. It's just green in a light shade, 
Uh, I, I think I'm seeing a little bit of a, oh, double button there. There might be a chip or a rub on the fender. Can't hardly tell. It might just be a brown spot. But look at that thing. This is definitely a candidate for opening. A beautiful green. I know I have a lot of 36 Ford Coupes because I really love them. But uh, I, you know, need to have each one of each color in the best possible condition I can get. This probably is an upgrade for my green because not too many green ones are this beautiful. And this thing is gorgeous for a green. And that is on a 70 card. And there she is. I got one more 36. One thing about the 36 Ford Coupe, there are some hard colors. And there's some popular colors. And one of the most popular colors on the 36 Ford Coupe is the red. This one appears to have a very shiny base and a very shiny nose. Not quite as shiny on the nose as the base, which is kind of odd. But it is a beautiful red color, and the uh, the uh, rumble seat there matches, and she is a beauty. She is a beauty. Package is decent. Has a it looks like to have a little bit of a smaller hull on it because it's a '69 card. Only has the '68s and '69s listed on it. And there goes the thing. Oh, what is going by here? A concrete truck. Holy smokes! They are building up the street for me. Something you would not believe. There was a small uh, half block hillside up the street from me a year ago. And somebody decided that what that half a block hillside needed was to be dug out and have eight condos built in a row, stretching four stories high. And that is what our neighborhood needed. I wish they would have asked me. I would have shot them. But there you go. Time marches on and things change. All right, next one up is a Volkswagen all right, here is the green Volkswagen. It is a Hong Kong version, and it is gorgeous. Oh, my, white interior, incredible, smooth green paint. I have, don't think I've ever seen a green Hong Kong this beautiful. It is absolutely gorgeous in an unpunched card. A late card, 70, because they made the Volkswagen for many years, and even though they did make the Volkswagen millions of them, they are still hard to get because people that collect Volkswagens hang on to every single Volkswagen they can get their hands on, including me. So it's not like a funny money where you only need one. The Volkswagen, you might have 10 of them, 20 of them, 50 of them, 100 of them, just because you love Volkswagens. So that's what makes Volkswagens really hard to get. Now this one is gorgeous. Wow. Amazing. This is turning out to be a fantastic lot of blisters. No disappointments yet, and I still have three to go, so maybe something will be disappointing, but I don't think so. I'm not anticipating any disappointments. All right, here's the next one. It is a 69 Maserati Mistral, and look at this beauty. Man, I am glad I bid on this thing. Paid a lot of money for it, but man, oh man, is it beautiful. Look at that unpunched, super smooth card. No dings on the pointy corner. A little bit here, but you got to expect that because of the way they are packed in the blister pack. They're on top of each other like that, and they get bent real easy. But look at this thing. It is gorgeous. Got the white card. I absolutely love the white card under the car. Love it, especially when it is still white and not turned brown. Man, oh man, this is a neat one in a 70 card. On punch, brand spanking new. Looks like it came out of the factory yesterday. And I am happy to get this one. This will be my number one Maserati Mistral right there in the copper. Holy smokes. Man, I hope you're enjoying this video as much as I'm enjoying these blister packs. It goes a long ways to explain why my visa bill was so high last month. And now, last but not least, two Cockney cabs. Let's open them up and see what we got. Okay, the last two blister packs in this lot are Cockney cabs. And I'm trying to improve my Cockney cab collection because the Cockney cab is a beautiful piece. Kind of a crossover between uh, when you collect Matchbox, you know, it's, uh, it's an English piece. So you'll kind of like it. I got an aqua one that I listed today. I think I'm going to have to take that off my website so that I can start my little Hong Kong Cockney cab collection. Because look at this beauty right here. And this package is toast, right? Look, it's got a wrinkle right here. Come on, you don't need that. And it's got a bump right here and a crack right there. That's three strikes and you are out. And time to open. 
only as long as it doesn't have any particularly bad paint but i do see something on that edge you know with hong kong cars you're gonna have little issues with paint let's take a look here what do we got oh dear look at that all right paint popping paint popping see it there it is on the rear fender i don't know if i want to open this one from the bubble because it's kind of an expensive car and if you find a bunch of bad spots on it then that's not going to be good i'm in here looking real close oh there's a lot of bad paint on this one of course when you buy these on ebay nobody's going to tell you about bad paint they don't want to tell you that come on that's no fun but it is red and it is hong kong i'm not sure i've actually ever seen a red hong kong before i'd have to take a look around and think about that for a bit but then again oh and here's a rose a rose us this one definitely in a bad blister pack got decent chrome on it not perfect but very nice good base and that package that package is toasted look at that oh i'm getting out of focus here got a wrinkle a wrinkle that's unpunched that's nice got a little residue there that would could very well be removable it's got kind of a bend there yeah bend right in there let's see cracks no nah, no cracks yet but that rose i'm gonna have to check that with the one i have in my collection because this one just may have to go into the rip it or list it category oh no see and this one's got loose stuff right here see how loose that is right there that's the kind of thing no one's going to ever tell you about on ebay but if you buy something on my website there'll definitely be some information about any defects like that for the most part or if you have any questions boy oh boy i'm getting crazy here with the camera which means i'm probably exhausted from all the camera work i've done and all the talking i've done in the past 16 minutes and the 15 minutes before that so i'm gonna have to call it adieu and thank you for watching this video this one is collection opening things i bought on ebay in the last month or so thanks you <laughs> thank you for joining me and there goes another car by oh my goodness it's busy outside my house today so anyway thanks for watching dave williamson toy car collector signing out bye now